Hey, what's going on? This is Jeff Blake from 10 Ton Online. In this very short and sweet tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your web hosting and also get WordPress installed on your live hosting account so that you can start working with and building your WordPress site. So let's dig into it here. We're going to be using a service called Web Hosting Hub, a hosting company called Web Hosting Hub. They've got a fast and easy setup, and they've also generously extended a discount to us as well. To take advantage of the discount on their hosting services, we're going to have to use a special URL. Go ahead and head over to 10tononline.com forward slash web hosting hub. And that'll take us directly to their website. Here we go. Just like this. All right. Now, if you want to, you can dig around a little bit here. You can click on hosting features. If you want to know a little bit more about Web Hosting Hub and what they have and in terms of what they're offering us, they are offering us, however, a free domain name with our website, which is awesome. So we definitely want to take advantage of that in addition to the discount that they're offering us. In any regard, across the top here, I'm going to click on Create a Website, and then I'm going to go and click on Get Started, okay? Now, on this Get Started page, or on this Domain Name Options page, I should say, if you don't have a domain name yet, and if you want to take advantage of a free domain name, go ahead and type it in here and then click on Search. I already have a domain name that I want to use, so I'm going to click inside the right-hand field and type in my domain, which is learn wordpresshq.com and then i'm going to go ahead and click on next step all right now whichever way you go you're going to wind up on this secure order process screen and they're going to need a little bit of account information from us so i'm going to go ahead and insert my account information and through the magic of video editing we're going to speed things up here a little bit Beneath your account information, they have some package options which you may choose to take advantage of if you want. You can have some automated secure backups and also some anti-spam protection if you want. Just for my demonstration here, I'm going to say no thanks for both options. And then down beneath that, we have our payment details. So we can choose our web hosting plan here. There it is, $3.99 a month for 36 months. There's our total, or $4.99 or $5.99, okay? So whichever option you want to go with. I'm going to go with the 12 months just for my quick example here. And then beneath that, we'd go ahead and insert our payment details. Once again, through the magic of video editing, we'll speed things up here. And then down towards the bottom, go ahead and click on I agree, and then purchase. And there's my final order confirmation. That's how easy it is. Now, you'll receive a confirmation email in your inbox. Now, what's going to happen at this point is a representative from Web Hosting Hub is going to call you just to confirm your order and to ensure that your account is going to be set up exactly the way that you want. They can also answer any questions that you might have, and it's just an extra measure for your own peace of mind. Once everything has been completely confirmed with Web Hosting Hub, you'll receive this email, Welcome to AMP. That's the Web Hosting Hub Account Management Panel. And what you'll need to do is follow this link here. It reads, please click here to create your account password and get started with AMP. So go ahead and follow that link in the email. Now, I've already set myself up here with Web Hosting Hub. So give me a moment. I'm just going to go ahead and log into my account here. There we go. And the goal here is to get WordPress installed on our live web server now. So here's how I'm going to do it. Inside the account management panel, I'm going to scroll all the way down to technical details, and I'm going to go ahead and click on details, okay? On the admin details page, look for your temp control panel URL, this guy right here. This is going to bring you into your web hosting hub cPanel or control panel.
okay? Now, in order to go and install WordPress, I'm going to make use of something called Softaculous, which you'll find all the way down towards the bottom of your cPanel. Go ahead and click on this guy, okay? Inside Softaculous, you may have to expand blogs over on the left-hand side and then look for WordPress. Go ahead and click on WordPress. Once the WordPress screen loads in here, all we need to do is click on the blue install button towards the top. That's it. It's really easy stuff here. All right. Now, we get this software setup screen here. I'm going to leave all of the defaults here, okay? I'm going to scroll all the way down to admin account, where it's asking for an admin username and password. All right. So go ahead and pop in a username and a password. I'm going to go with admin and admin one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because no one will guess that, right? <laughs> All right, good enough. Now, down towards the bottom, you may want to make use of this. You can email the installation details to yourself if you want, okay? Probably a good idea to do that. Go ahead and click on install, and Web Hosting Hub goes and automatically installs WordPress on your hosting account for you. So there's no messing around with databases or PHP files or anything like this. What we wind up with is this screen here. Congratulations, the software was installed successfully. WordPress has been successfully installed at learnwordpresshq.com. I'm going to go ahead and follow that URL. And sure enough, there's my brand new installation of WordPress on my web hosting hub account. How easy was that? Of course, at this point, I can begin adding content to my website. I can customize it. I can apply a theme to it and so on. You know, if you'd like to know more about how to work with your new WordPress website, you can check out my course, How to Get Started with WordPress, which will walk you through step by step everything that you need to know to run your WordPress website. You can check that out over at 10tononline.com forward slash WordPress. I hope to see you there. In any regard, I hope you've enjoyed this look at getting online fast. I hope you were able to get your hosting account set up and WordPress installed. I hope you're looking at a brand new fresh website on your side right now. For 10 Ton Online, this is Jeff Blake signing off and wishing you well in your web design adventures. Thank you.